Hi, I'm Sean Farquhar, and welcome to The Step Project here at Real Magic Magazine. What's The Step Project? Well, it's an acronym I've used for years. Originally, uh, you've probably heard of the saying, keep it simple, stupid, the KISS principle. Well, I use STEP, stick to easy principle. Uh, I like easy, and anybody who's ever seen my lecture bread and butter knows I love easy. Easy's the way to go. So, when Cosmo asked me if I could contribute to the magazine, I thought, what could I do? Well, the one thing I can offer you is three pieces of magic uh, that are not complete. I'll tell you that now. Uh, they're not works that have been in my uh, act for years. In fact, most of them haven't been in my act. They're things I've done uh, on a kind of a odd basis here and there uh, just to try them out, and all have been effective. Uh, but I think that there's room for them to grow. And I'm a tenacious individual, always looking to find a new way to do something. And so when I have an idea, I write it down in my journal. And then as time progresses and my knowledge increases, I find that I have solutions to things uh, that are already in the journal. These are three of those. Uh, each uh, issue, I will present one. And then I'll ask you, as the viewer, uh, to film it uh, yourself, uh, performing it. And uh, I'd love to see uh, the handlings, additions that you add to it. And maybe it'll turn into uh, even more uh, video for Real Magic Magazine. If not, at least it'll end up uh, on my website or YouTube channel or someplace so that people can uh, recognize the talents and the additions that you've added uh, to the ideas. Let's get started with the first idea. The first one is a card trick. Basically, uh, you explain to your audience that uh, the reason you're able to do all these tricks is because uh, you can tell not only the markings on the face of the card, but there are markings on the backs of the cards. Uh, I'll give you an example. Let's do one right here towards the middle. Uh, this one here, uh, this is the Three of Clubs. Yep, that's the Three of Clubs. Uh, I can explain how the markings are easily noted. Uh, they're right here. They're uh, right there. Can you see that? That's the Three of Clubs. I'll just uh, push that down. So it's more smooth. And then I can actually hand it to the spectator and allow them to look at it till their heart's content because there are no stickers on the back or anything. In fact, uh, we can do it a second time. Uh, let's do this one here. Uh, this one, uh, that's the uh, King of Spades. I'll show it to you on the face, King of Spades. Uh, unlike the Three of Clubs, the King of Spades, well, it has the same marking. It's just on here. You can see that. That's the King of Spades. Yeah. Smooth that out, and then hand them the King of Spades. Both of these cards can be examined until the heart's delight. How do I do this? It's very simple. 